العاصمة الاقتصادية من أبو ظبي Welcome to the Capital Business Channel's coverage of the ISNR from ADNEC in Abu Dhabi. Let's take a look at today's events and news stories. For the best coverage, stay tuned to the Capital Business Channel. With me here, Mr. Wes Covell, the CEO of uh, Harris Atlas International, uh, the company that uh, takes care of all the communication uh, services. Uh, Mr. Wes, welcome. Thank you, Iman. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Uh, can you talk to us about your participation here in SNR 2014? Well, we're thrilled to be here at ISNR. Uh, of course, security, national resilience, protecting your critical infrastructure, providing security for your people is just so important. It's important here in the UAE, it's important here in the region, and of course it's important around the world. So it's great to be here where so many people are gathered to learn and share information about national resilience and security. Um, we talked about uh, you know, being here and the security in the Gulf area. Uh, Abu Dhabi is one of the few cities, despite its very short um, age of 47 years, um, have put the hard combination of, uh, of richness and, uh, and security. How do you see this within the strategy of Harris Atlas? Well, it's no accident that we're located here in Abu Dhabi. We realized we needed to expand globally, and we looked for a location that best aligned with our interest. And we picked Abu Dhabi because the focus on security, the welcoming environment to people not from here, and the uh, willingness to take on new ideas and embrace them and bring the best technology from around the world makes Abu Dhabi a perfect place to, to uh, locate your business. Talking about technologies, can you, can you just give us a sense of what technologies do you introduce in Harris International? Well, Harris Corporation is a communications and information technology company. We've been doing business here in the Middle East for about 25 years. Uh, more and more we're bringing advanced uh, information technology solutions uh, involved with geospatial technology, mapping, situational awareness, things that decision makers need to ensure that they have the right people at the right place at the right time to ins ensure the security of the public. Uh, talking about you know the whole community of Abu Dhabi and and how welcoming it is to new technologies how do you think is it important for such a channel like capital it's a business channel that highlights the emirate of Abu Dhabi uh, how can this you know highlight what you do or, or participate or be a strategic partner in what you do well most important to recognize is technology is really of no value if you don't also integrate that with the people and the way things are done. So it's important to take the technology and combine that with what people's, the people's challenges, what they face, how they're gonna use the technology. Just like if you have a GPS in your car and you don't know how to use it, it's of no value to you. But once you do learn how to use it and how to integrate that into your life, you can't live without it. That's that combination that's so important to get the word out. Thank you very much for uh, this interview, Mr. West. Thank you very much and see you again. Brigadier Anas, can you please give us some information about uh, these cars that are displayed here? Okay, about the cars uh, which is displayed from uh, Dubai uh, police uh, headquarters uh, in the Ministry of Interior uh, wing. Uh, in here we have the uh, displaying three types of cars, which is the Bugatti Veyron and the Ferrari FF and the McLaren uh, C12. Uh, in here 
we brought uh, these cars uh, to uh, show the public or to be closer to the public uh, which and that which we use normally when we are outside in the road uh, with these uh, luxurious cars uh, normally uh, we use them to patrol uh, the modern area of dubai the uh, tourist attractive area of uh, dubai and uh, to show uh, how modern is the UAE and uh, the uh, how is the infrastructure which is in uh, UAE uh, it is uh, advanced in everything we have a very good roads we have uh, a very good uh, or a very strong uh, police force uh, in UAE uh, so uh, normally these cars also after we start use them to uh, promote Dubai uh, or one of the tools to promote Dubai for Expo 2020 and uh, Alhamdulillah Dubai uh, win the Expo 2020 to host Dubai to, uh, to host Expo 2020 now the cars also uh, having a different mission is to uh, remove the barrier between the public and uh, the police can you can you talk to us more about this amazing car behind you okay this car is a bugatti virion uh, it is uh, the car which is uh, let's say the fastest car uh, al legally allowed to be driven on the road when i can say legally that's legally to register but okay, you cannot register uh, like uh, a track type car, so you can drive it in the road. No, this car, it is uh, with a speed exceeding uh, 400 uh, kilometer per uh, hour and uh, from zero to 100 and less uh, than uh, three seconds. Yeah. So this tells the public that you can be fast and still be safe. And that uh, our uh, command don't uh, spare anything to keep the people secure. Thank you very much. You Thank welcome. you. So that's what I call a police car.